What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are returning to everybody's favorite for what is shaping up to be a tremendous installment of Wreckfest Wednesday. As you can see, there has been a grand addition to the very track pack two, and it is one of the most legendary racetracks in all of America and maybe all of the world. And judging by that sign, you may think it's Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, but if you know anything, it's now WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. But you want to know something, Mazda, Norway. WeatherTech are paying me a dime. So to me, it's Laguna Sega. We're taking it on with what else but the NASCAR legends. We have got a field full of classics, new cars, old cars, and Ryan Blaney's car. I watched him win with at Michigan. We are off in this new Blaney scheme. I got to watch him win in person at Michigan. He turns around and wins Talladega, this guy. Everything's looking up for Blaney. Hopefully we can channel some of that here today as we're going to go three wide up the middle. That's not going to work out. That is going to be big trouble right off the start. What a debut. We didn't even make the first corner. Well, that was a botched three wide pass if I've ever seen one. I thought we'd have turn one memes galore. Instead, we get rolled in our debut race right off the bat. Neato. Am I going to learn my lesson? No. Here's another three wide move right up the middle. And there's Michael Walter behind us going to hold on to it. Oh, me and Brent Moffitt, we're going to the inside. He got curbed. He just got Indy curbed and we're all going over. It's a pile. We are going to be able to drive away from this. I think, oh, Chick Hicks slamming into me. Noah Branson is driving that. Why does that seem slightly fitting? Holy moly, Cindric is in the money line at two car. If that's not fate and destiny coming together, I don't know what is, and I can't steer. My car is no longer steering, and that's going to be the wall. That's going to be the race. Back-to-back -back trips to the replay booth. My cardio is going to be outstanding by the end of this, and that is just an outstanding-looking wreck as Chick Hicks goes barrel rolling. And then just drives it right back into the side of Jimmy Johnson right there. So he's got no respect for seven-time champions. This, this much is clear. It's good to know we laser scan the Indianapolis curbs, though. We got to give this thing one at least full shot. Over the field we go. <laughs> end over end. Oh, those things are going to lead to some fun. Just for my own entertainment, I want to look at that again. We cleaned out Danica Patrick in the full hoon. End over end over the field. I am a child. All right, let's get back to business. Maybe we'll try an easier approach here to the corner. Oh, we're still gonna wind up cleaning out Danica Patrick again. And a couple others, we can squeak by on the inside here. Almost, oh, Dale hooked us back into another pile of chick hicks. Cause uh, I don't know, I don't think he should wind up on a list for what he just did to me. That was, a oh, that's a head on shot with the five car, right in the mouth. I'm gonna have to pull over and pick up what's left of my teeth out there. We're gonna cut this corner and take it right to these guys. We're done playing around after this. And they're done playing with me. They're going to dispose of me over I go. Send to a barrel roll by my damn teammate. The two of all people. Brad, I'm going to pull out on track. I'm so distraught. Up and over we go again. Laid out on our lid where we belong. Oh, easy. <laughs> Senior in this junior car is getting a little testy. He's getting ready to dump me. He's going to push me in the corner into another deal junior car. He's taking out his own family here. This is not allowed to go face first into Jeff Burton. We got more timelines converging the MCU. Where were those guys going? The racetrack's over here, gentlemen. Not that it matters much. Getting shoved off it any way you go. Try to catch back up here. Elliot Sadler in that two car. Gonna run through the cars and so will I. Smoking them left and right. And somehow we're gonna come out with some clean racetrack ahead of us. Look at Sadler here. What do you think? You gotta run, bud? Gonna try to make the pass on me. This is kind of a tight corner, isn't it? I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna shove you onto that curb if I can. Oh, I shoved myself onto the curb. Oh, no. <laughs> This has gone awry. This has not gone to plan. That's going to be the race. Let's see if we can have a little bit more sensible entry into this one. I gave a wide berth to that curb. Totally missed the apex. We're going to slide out wide and be just fine here. We're going to run on Bobby Labonte. You don't want to look at that curb wrong. It will kill you. I'm not leaving anything to chance here. Especially headed into the corkscrew. We're not even going to make it there. We're in the wall. Smoked it before we even got there. Again. Gotta flip this thing around now and crawl down the corkscrew. It's gonna get shoved. There's cars flying everywhere around here. Nobody knows what to do about the corkscrew. We got guys getting ass packed up here in front of us. Oh, we got me getting ass packed up here. I'm getting launched. Run over and sent. Just got like race car centipeded. I don't even want to look at this game. Oh, we're getting hit. Another one. And the third from Dale. To finish us off. Thank you, Dale. I've seen enough here. I really haven't seen enough, because we're going to get into the replay booth and check out exactly what happened there. We blew the corkscrew. 
royally. Just, just totally and utterly bombed it in our first try through it. But that was hardly the highlight as we come down here a corner later and get launched. From back to front, just a pure packing right there. Now you just let nature take its course here with one, two, and there's the third one. Thank you, Dale. Let's see if we can get a better look at this course crew on the second attempt here. Because they're already on the brakes early here. Bobby Labonte getting a little pack job into the corner. We'll shove them all the way through it. Probably a saver for us here. Everybody's losing. We do too. Off the contact of Byron. Then he just drives away, and Bowman's gonna slam us. No, Greg's gonna slam us. Bobby Labonte's gonna give us a little payback there. And Greg's is gonna land on our damn hood. I got Chick Hicks causing me all types of problems. Who would be shocked by that? Absolutely no one. And we're all having a hell of a time trying to gather it up here. The 11's out of the race. He's toast and laying in the middle of the racetrack, <laughs> right where you wanna be. And that's a pack into another corner. Another near miss with the curb. Danica just took me clean out. Now I gotta use lessons from Miss Puff's boating school to turn this big piece of trash around. Here we go. I guess that was kind of revenge from Danica because I absolutely smoked her earlier on the curb test. So we get a curb test. There's another one. I got someone on my ass here. Can we at least pull away? Oh, it's Chick. And we are gonna pull away. Man, he's hurt. Oh, another curb check. Damn, I gotta pay more attention. Who's this? Davey Allison, we can take him out. Oh, he's gonna take us with him. No! No! I saw Prey and I went for it, he took me with him. The needless war on Cohen's is gonna continue, but Danica, you know what must be done. Cannot take that move from earlier, lying down. We're gonna take this one flying up over the field, over the sausage curves. Hey, it turns out handbrake does not do the same thing as regular brake. Do not try to be a cool ass in turn one. That is the result. Who's this? Elliot Sadler, we're gonna take you out. We missed on that attempt earlier. We'll go ahead and fulfill the prophecy. There's another curb check. I get five bonus points every time I hit one. I like to think that hundreds of thousands of hours in the wind tunnel have led to this rear end design that you're currently seeing. And there's our, oh, there's trouble on the track. We got Jeff laying across. Was that Jeff Gordon actually in his own car? That's incredible. And so is this wreck. There's another lineup of cars. Just wrecking on the way to the course. You and more contact back there. Come on, boys. How are you gonna wreck this early? At least make a fool of yourself in the corkscrew. Then we can understand. Now all we can do is point and laugh. This is at least reasonable. Fools, I say. Davey Allison's going around. He's going to put us in fourth. Picking up spots left, right, and center. Here we go. Finally making our way through this course here. First time today making a second trip to the corkscrew. Pretty sure here. And they are blowing it in front of us. Oh, we're going to take the lead. The leader's wadded up in the corkscrew. I'm driving off track gawking at it. Chick Hicks is laying in a heap over there. That sight just brings warmth to my heart. You know what else does? The fact that we are in the lead and about to win this race. We're taking out sides here. I gotta take it easy. We're gonna take this thing off the track and blow it. If we're not careful, we got Alex Bowman back there in striking distance. I'm just gonna relax in this last corner. I don't wanna shoot it over. He's gonna shoot it into me. He sent it. Oh, he moved me. No, not like this. Not like this. No. He bumped and run me. He successfully bumped and run me. I babied it, but I thought I didn't think he'd send it that hard. Well, we have some replays and maybe some life decisions to evaluate here in the post race. That was a sure dub that I let slip away. And here is where it fell away from us in the last corner. I break. Right after the 100 sign, I thought that'd be fine. Apparently, that was giving up too much ground, and he just drives right through me. Alex Bowman to the dub. Oh, all right, Bobby, okay. If you want it, you can have it. I'm, I'm trying to keep it clean now. I need to redeem myself. I am trying to secure this victory. I do not need to be risking it all. We gotta clean this up a little bit, and we, are, we actually kept that really clean in the first corner. That was about as clean as we've done so far, and that's gotta hold through a couple corners here. Oh, yeah, let's go. See if we can. I'll let John Andretti have the inside on this one. He can slide it through there all you want, my friend. And there he goes. He almost goes around. Oh, look who it is. How about that, bud? How's that feel? You like that? They're going to take each other out. Yes, they are. There they go. Imagine being stupid. Who would have who ever seen that coming? Oh, and we got out through second on that. Up to second. And in striking distance of the lead with a couple of corners to go. Oh, this is a beautiful roll reversal for Redemption right here, and I know no better way 
Been to use less since Lord from Alex Bowman. We've got to send it. This has to be just a godless send right here. Come on. For glory right here. I missed. I missed. I missed. How do you miss? How does that curb kick me off just enough to fully miss? This is bullshit. Well, if I haven't secured my first ballot wreckfest hall of shame induction at this point, I think it's safe to say we have done it now. Just go. I need I need so much redemption at this point. It hurts that, that this has gone so belly up so fast. It isn't even funny. And it's just a pile. Look at this stack up. Oh, my God. Wholesale spots available. And we just robbed them all. Up into the top four, looking at the podium already at the first corkscrew. You know they're going to blow it. We just said we gave Dale Jarrett a little encouragement to blow it. And that's going to put us in the lead on the first lap. With maybe uh, not as much as, what, one scratch on the car from Dale Jarrett? I have some serious questions. <laughs> We're coming up to the final corner. How do we just go from two of the most humiliating losses ever? to a completely clean run, damn near untouched. A couple of bums laying at the line. I don't even know what happened to them. We basically won that race in the first quarter. One trip through the corkscrew, that is a dub. I think this game is like following the narrative of the day. It knew I was in desperate need of a little bit of a pick me up after two back to back, just tough races that ended in the last corner. But as you saw, that one damn near ended in the first. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, as we watch one last bit of the onboard here to secure that Tom Sendale around. That was literally the only damage I think we took during this race. And that's that. What a stay in Monterey here in Laguna Seca as we are going to wind things down. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, this installment of Wreckfest. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for me. Leave me a comment down below of what you'd like to see in future installments in Wreckfest and other games in anything. For that matter and for that, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!